Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about an issue that I have with my CR10 SE machines. Uh, I've been using these machines for about six months non-stop. These literally print for 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, they do not stop. So uh, I've ran, I think each machine has 2,500 hours on it uh, already or more. But um, I started recently having clogging issues and Currently it's 100 degrees outside, I'm in South Texas, and in my shop it's 84 degrees, even though I do have AC coming in here and exhausting uh, out the outside any hot air, so, uh, but, you know, it can only cool down to 84 degrees. And I've been noticing that the hot ends have been clogging, so three of these machines regularly clog after maybe 24 hours of operating or whatever and it's an issue that's caused me a lot of downtime and what I found out was is that this hot end fan uh, is actually not cooling down the heatsink enough to to create um, a good enough heat break so that the PLA filament does not melt inside the PTFE tube so what I did is I went on Amazon and I purchased a replacement 2510 fan and I installed it and immediately the hot end clogged again and I realized that this fan doesn't have enough CFM to keep the heatsink cool I believe the stock 2510 fan is probably somewhere around 3 CFM these were 2 CFM from Amazon and uh, this is the original but I think it, some sort of imbalance happened and it was actually performing less than what it should um, so I ended up purchasing some Honey Badger performance uh, 2510 axial fans they're advertised for 3.2 uh, CFM or something like that but um, I didn't want to wait for those to come in and so what I tried was I tried to install a 3010 fan which these are advertised as 4 CFM, the ones that I bought off Amazon, and it actually fit. I was able to get one screw on the other side of this fan mounted, and uh, I got it tight enough to where this doesn't really move. So even though it's held on by one screw, it actually is pretty secure. And uh, I ran it with the 3010 fan, and it works flawlessly. This, this is definitely enough uh, airflow to cool down the heatsink and it and uh, eliminated my clogging issue so um, yeah I just wanted to make this video because if somebody else is having issues with their CR10 SE clogging or even the Ender 3 V3 KE because I think they use similar hot ends try installing a 3010 fan with at least uh, 4 CFM and let that run and it should solve your problems. It, it solved my problems here. So I just wanted to jump in and make this quick video because I think that might be helpful for somebody. And uh, yeah, hopefully it takes care of your issues. That's it guys, thank you.